All right, who's up for some horrifying Slavic myth? Cause I am. Let's see, is it warm in your room, Wander? Yeah, it's pretty toasty. I don't know why. I think I've just had my computer on all day and maybe it wasn't so cold right now. Okay, so what, what were we doing? Where were we going? Quests. Return to the... Uh, Herdsman. Oh boy. Everything's really loud. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Yeah, the music is sick. It is amazing. I, I really like the music for this game. Okay, so we gotta go... Let's see. Why is cow, cow's tail beast turned out to be a big bear, bar slain? Return to the herdsman. So I guess let's go back to the herdsman. I thought we already did. I'm gonna do it again just, just to be safe. Where was the herdsman? Oh, he was over here. Maybe it didn't... I bet it didn't Ivan. save. I found the beast that murdered your cattle, and I slew it. This is his paw, as proof. Oh, thank you, Blacksmith. I only hope my dearest cow will soon return. I'll have to starve if she won't. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Woe unto me. Uh, yep. I found a carcass right next to the bear's hideout. This bell was nearby. My love. My life. <laughs> we already heard that. I'm not going to subject everybody to that a second time around. Or, if this is your first time seeing this game, I'm not going to suggest it, uh, subject you to it a first time. Alright. So now we're done with that. Quests. Now we got to go back to Baba Yaga. For bottled youth. And then we're probably going to keep screwing over... Oh, let's see what's up. I think what's up. Yeah. Yeah, there's the village gate. Let's go back to ba Baba Yaga. I don't think I can upgrade anything else. I can't wait until we get some Ivan of the... seems oh. troubled. Where is he going now? Ivan has new gifts for you. He sets out on a long journey, trying to find your house. What day does his journey start? Extra strength, extra fortunate, extra faster. Let's do fortune. So who is Baba Yaga's wife candidate? You know, honestly, considering how much... is unbearable. Considering how much Baba Yaga is helping him, and he did promise to marry her, Baba Yaga? Like, I don't know, there's probably some downside to marrying Baba Yaga, but she seems to know a hell of a lot, have like a fruit of immortality, fountain of youth, golden apple, like a bunch of other shit. Like, there are worse people to get attached to. She eats eyes. But she might not eat his? Fancy some cheese, traveler. Of course. I could never refuse some good goat cheese. Oh shit, I got goat oh, cheese sorry. downstairs. Uh, I uh, seem to have just run out. Oh, it's one of the fates. Riddle me this, young blacksmith. The one who makes it does not need it. The one who buys it does not use it. The one who does, though, knows not of it. Air? Oh, I must be the air. You might not know that you breathe air, blacksmith. You might as well not be the only one. Um... Precisely. But I mustn't hold you off from your journey any longer. We might meet again. <laughs> Somebody was asking, why am I just picking all of the foolish options? Because it's really funny! <laughs> Let's see, do you get a gift if you answer correctly? Pretty sure, yeah. Holy crap. This thing is a hyper hammer. I love it. I just can't wait until we get the uh, the one that actually hits multiple targets. Or hits targets multiple times. There's some really busted hammer combos la later on. I might have to keep the, uh, the golden tooth attached, though. Just for the sheer financial benefits. Or we just get so rich it doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna turn the music up just a little bit. It was kind of loud in town, but it's a little quieter out here. Uh, let's see, what's the instrument in the background? The flute is frenetic and amazing. It's a Romanian folk punk band. I don't know how to describe it apart from that, but it's super good. Uh, honestly, like, even if the gameplay uh, wasn't fairly fun, well, I don't know, there's a lot of things that this, if this game was lacking, it would actually be kind of a bit of a shame, but that's okay. Uh, but the music is probably the best part of this game. It helps that this game is just fairly fantastic otherwise. Like, it reminds me of, uh, it really reminds me of Bastion, I think. And admittedly, Bastion, I think, was a little bit tighter than this, but, like, it's got the same level of, like, nice hand-painted detail and the, uh, the, like, rolling... Whoa, haven't fought these guys before. These guys are new. I want to get rid of the ranged guys if I can. Okay. Oh, no, I think we've had an emerald before. Ow. Okay, I'm going to run around for a bit. I wonder if there's any talismans that specifically increase my movement speed. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, so cannot dodge roll through rocks and attacks and stuff. It's just for getting around. Well, on the plus side, boy, does it let me get around. Yeah, I should have played more of this yesterday. This game is super good. The only... I think the real, really only thing that this game does wrong is level... The level design is really boring. But, like, whatever. It's just a bunch of fighting arenas for you to kill monsters in. So it doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if you want, I can look up, uh... You know what? I'm actually gonna stop for a second. Uh, let's go back. I'm gonna look at who did the music for this game, seeing as everybody's kind of bringing it up. And I think that's actually quite valuable. Uh, let's see, to actually share that with everyone, because it's super good. Uh, let's see, Yaga episode one. I'm pretty sure I had, like, a billion people be like, Oh man, I know this band! And I was just like, man, I have a lot of Romanians listening. Okay. Sub Carpati. Argadu in the Sub Carpati. Sub Carpati? I'm gonna just Google both. Okay. Or maybe not? Hold on. Two Romanian bands and singers. Well, I think it's this. Uh. Well, it's not in English, so that's a bit of an issue. Let's just go to subcarpati.com. It's Moldova. I have no idea. Hmm. Yeah, Subcarpati and Argatu in a video game. Romanian folk music remixed for the modern age. Yeah, so that's it. S-U-B-C-R-A-R-P-A-T-I. And Argadu is A-R-G-A-T-U. If anybody else wants to listen to it. I was going to try and find, like, a website. I'm pretty sure they're on Spotify, so that's good. I'm not on Spotify. I actually have not used Spotify in, like, seven years. It's not... it's not a bad service. I just have, uh... Uh... The subscription to the Google Play. Wow. I'm just stunlocking him. Beautiful. It isn't quite stunlocking him necessarily, but still, body parts. They have a YouTube seeing over 50 songs. Wow, nice. And when I when I finally have the time to sit down and actually listen to stuff, I will probably sit down and start perusing their discography. Reminds me of the oh, what's the Mongolian throat uh, throat chanting band that was really like big earlier this year. Was it earlier this year or was it last year? I don't know. There, there's a uh, Mongolian band that was really... Oh, 
that was really popular for like a bit. Was it the Who? H U? I think it was. The Who. Okay, if I just run fast, I'll be okay. As long as I don't get hit by those slowing spears. The interesting thing about this game specifically is you're actually meant to lose some of these. Uh, because that's how you level up. Obviously, I don't want to do that unless I have to. But, like, at this point, my learning is just about max maxed out. So if I do die, it's not so bad. Uh, let's see. Why don't you should check back with Noida at some point? I, I should. I was hoping, um... I was really hoping some more mods would come out. Maybe? I don't know. The main other thing is, I'm just a busy dude. Like... I might get a little bit of time this week specifically, but... Uh, what you guys don't see is my inbox, was, which fills up easily with, like, seven different games per day, and I have to, like, sit down and, and say, like, hey, uh... I, I have to sit down and say, like, hey, uh, which of these do I play? Which ones do I not? And that's actually, like, a bit of a problem for me. Uh, and so, like, going back to games is really tough for me. Just because, like, which do I go back to? Because you know what else has gotten a bunch of updates? Uh, Dicey Dungeons got a couple, plus it had the Halloween DLC. Uh, Hades, Atomicrops, uh, let's see, Undermine, hmm, kind of Nova Drift. And so, like, the problem is going back to anything is actually really, really tough for me, because, like, how much do I go back for? How long do I go back for? How much time do I have? And the answer is, like, I might be able to do half a sitting and then go back. Yeah, Atomicrops has year two. Yeah, and so what I often will do in this situation is put it up to a poll. So if you hang out on Discord specifically, you might actually get a vote on that. But if you don't, then it'll probably get... It might win, but it probably won't. I don't know, it varies. People are very demanding for their JRPGs. I still gotta go back and finish Dragon Quest XI. Ugh. And JRPGs are also just super long. They are. They do keep me a little bit sane, though. Stuff like Noida, I have a love-hate relationship with Noida and Dicey and so on and so forth, just because everybody's so super mean about it. Whereas, like, when I'm playing a JRPG, everybody's just like, this is great, and I'm like, positivity is really nice. Okay, I don't remember, I really do not remember where I'm going. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna leave the map on big. JRPGs require grinding, which gets way too long. This is why I like uh, JRPGs on PC, because I can pretty much just turn on an EXP trainer and just be like, I get double EXP. Hoorah! So at some point, I'm probably going to go back to uh, Dig Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory and finish that, seeing as I get the PC version. And I'm actually kind of excited for that, because I got a I got a hack that just makes it so I can digivolve Digimon regardless of what their stats are. Which means start the game with an Omegamon. Whoever the... Who cares? I don't. It'd be funny. I mean, it's in the name. Hacker's memory. I'm just a little bit more accomplished than most. Okay. I'm actually in a bit of a bad way. Gotta run around a little bit. People tend to get picky when it comes to roguelikes, more often than not, it feels. It's one of those where, like, uh, there's a s small subset of the population when it comes to roguelikes that, like, uh, anything less than absolute perfect play is offensive to people. And I love playing those games, but I don't like attracting those people. So it's always this, like, weird, like, love-hate relationship, because I'll play it for a while, and then a bunch of people will get, like, really into the game, and I'll just stop, because I, you know, I'm not going to be able to avoid their gaze anymore. It's like, uh... <laughs> I'm the game hipster, where I play everything before it's cool, because the cool people are jerks. Okay. So what do we do now? The pawn seems quite animated. Show yourself. Show yourself, creature. <laughs> the 
pond is now quiet. <laughs> I don't know what's in that pond. I we will never find out what's in that pond. What's in the pond, you ask? Nothing. Bubbles. Or a coward. Depends on your perspective. Man, this hammer is just already owning so much more than it was earlier. Uh, my last couple have been. Last couple were okay, but like this hammer is just obscenely good. wonder because I could never play those games proficiently. There's some... It's honestly a, just a test of patience and practice. Whoops. What the hell? Who's this? this song. I like this one. What does it sound like? There's a there's a more popular song that this reminds me of. I don't know. One way or another. Uh, some kind of like weird angel lady, maybe. She like catapulted herself off into the future. I don't know. Yeah, did she just slingshot away? Pretty sure she did. Oh, hey, chest. Sup, yogs. So we get copper ore, a lot of copex. Not that it's actually a whole lot of copex compared to what I'm used to, but still. Okay. My dear Ivan, you're back, I see. I wonder what you have for me. I have more gifts gathered with pains. A white cow's tail and some spoiled grains. Sounds like a treat. They'll feed my crows. Now, let us talk about your woes. Oh, wait. First, let me try to guess. You find yourself in one more mess. No mess here. It's not a mess. It is my task. But for your help, I came to ask. I do not know which path to pick. Youth in a bottle, I must seek. I told you not to trust the Tsar. His heart is darker than black tar. That wicked man will always find someone to hurt and leave behind me. I'll be kind and will tell you where you must go, what you must do. What? What do I seek? What should I bring? The swamp's shelter, a water spring. There is a fountain, very old, with magic water, pure and cold. Holding that water, clean of dirt, keeps one's mind young, fresh and alert. Where? Where do I start? Is it close by? It is not far, nor is it dry. You'll need to go into the box. Filled with wet creatures and some frogs. The eldest one is soaked in moss. Take what he guards, and he'll be cross. I should go. I have to go now. I need to run. I'll meet you there when your task is done. But before you go straight into harm, do you want magic? Maybe a charm? Now go, dear blacksmith. Use your firm arm. Or do you want magic? Maybe a charm? Magic! A magic item, if you have on you, for a small price, I can make it too. Give item. Let's see. She makes it slow. Now let's give her an evil eye. How many do you want, my dear Ivan? I can make many. Or I can make one. I need five copies. Here you go. Take them. Oh. She just gave me a bunch of evil eyes. I was hoping for something new. Oh well. Now I got a bunch. Not that I really have any need for evil eyes. 
So that's how I get more of these. Okay, note to self, pay more attention. What do we get? I don't really know. Magic items aren't particularly useful for me. I could have just given her bread. She did Evan say copy. Lots of I was zoning out. Quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Oh, hey. Recover magic when uh, stamina when using magic items. And carrying a cartwheel, enemies get stunned. Okay, no. Enemies thrown or push with the bear paw do damage on hit. And recover stamina when using magic items. I don't really know if any of the other ones are actually even remotely useful for me. Okay, can you bring me something? Anything new? Something shiny or surprise me? Surprise me! I have something for you. Feed her evil eye. Doesn't like it. Okay, next up. Bread. Bring me something. Surprise me. I'll bring that next time. I guess I'm just gonna have Yaga dupe bread next time. Uh, let's see. So what can I make? Do I have any... I might have new things. Did... Uh, damages hit enemies for a short time. Yeah, more damage is... Nah. Not quite yet. We need more abilities. Uh, let's see. Enhancement upgrades. Don't have any more. Salvage upgrades. Carve rune. Need five iron. Yeah, okay. So I, I don't have enough for any of these things. I'm gonna keep saving my bits. Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? Out of all places, the water of youth is in the swamp. Ivan will face the wet marshes to find it. Okay, foes are weakest, keeps him going longer, swings are strongest. Eh, let's go with that one. Keeps him going longer. I have no idea what keeps him going longer is. I think that increases the uh my health. Which I guess is probably the most useful thing. So how is this game? Man has reached a smelly place. Inside this swamp, what will he face? Oh, hey, swamp is new. Peasants don't dare go in the bogs. Many were lost between the frogs. Sad women, children, dogs and sheep never come out if they go deep. The Vodnik lives there with his clan. They hate and fear the touch of man. But men are never stopped by bounds. They search for treasure on their grounds. How will the blacksmith pick a side when faithful men and swamps collide? Will he choose humans and their quest? Or try to be a kinder guest. I wonder how long it took them to write this entire game and rhyme in time. Especially because this is a Romanian studio. Everything is so wet here. Oh, uh, let's see, we need shovel arm. Maybe I go under here? Otherwise... Oh wait, hold on. It's not shovel arm that I need. What am I doing? I need hook arm. Or, not hook arm. Other hook arm. This hook arm. Chain fork. There we go. I know how to do this. Kinda. Okay, and I can just hook on to empty swamp land. Which is confusing, to say the least, but that's okay. I adore how they stylize this game. Hello, lady. What's wrong? There's much grief in my heart, stranger. I was soon to be wed. And look at me now. Alone. 
Even my flowers have withered away. I can get new flowers. I can bring you new ones, if it cheers you up. Would you, a stranger, do that for me? Your words are so sweet. And if they are true, bring me the most beautiful flower you find. A dash of colour on this landscape of sorrow would bring such joy to my heart. Yeah, like I said, I will generally always pick the foolish option because it's funny as hell. Weird frogs are going to be a problem. I'm gonna get wrecked by some things, but that's okay. The hell is that? I have no idea. But I gotta go for the the bad murloc. No matter what, the bad murloc need, needs a smiting. And the rest of these guys just fold, because they, they don't know what to do about freaking turbo fear hammer. Like, we got rid of the poop, and we replaced it with death. We. Good luck coming after me, goons. I am just too mighty for you. Okay. Is that just summoning more little froggins? It is. Oh, they're like weird little frog balls. Well, if I want to make a bunch of money, this is kind of a no-brainer. Well, well, it's dead. That's fine. Why don't you should also try Cat Maze based on Slavic Myth? I have, actually. I did a Let's Try of it. I didn't actually enjoy the gameplay that much. The other problem I had was that they had used a bunch of stolen art assets, uh, which, admittedly, they didn't know was bad. Uh, but I'm not going to play games that do that. And I think they've fixed it at this point, but even then. A stone altar. Dedicated to Dazbog, the Giving God. Offer. The Giving God, you say? Let's see, I could give some gold ore. Let's give a five-leaf clover. The altar accepted my offering. The sun seems to shine brighter. Everything is silent now. Let's see, do I enjoy the taste of frog balls? Probably not. I'm not a big fan of frog legs or anything of the sort. I will admit, I have done some horrible things to frog kind in my past. So I don't know. Maybe I should just own it. In high school, we were tasked with dissecting frogs. And I figured out it was actually really, really easy to skin a frog that had been preserved. So, I had a skinless frog to dissect instead of a regular skin frog. Everybody else was horrified by it, but boy, it was really interesting. Look at the musculature, which was not something I normally get to, uh, you know, you normally get to do during a dissection. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. Not me. Craft or salvage ore? Craft. So what do some of these new ones do? More damage to Vodiani and their friends. Nope, not really that helpful. I'm looking for special effects, not just bonus damage. I've ever seen a skin human, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. So this is the end of the area. I think? Yeah, I saw... Oh, it's both of these guys. Ah, you poor man. Have the swamps tricked you as well? Tricked? Are you saying the swamps are playing tricks on me? You poor soul. You probably lost your mind. Don't you know you're walking in a cursed land? Water of youth. I am looking for the water of youth, and I heard it is found here. This whole swamp is cursed by evil spirits. People have been disappearing here in the past weeks, one after the other, coming here in the evening, nowhere to be found in the morning. 
people say their lights can be seen at night. Some have seen the faces of the missing ones through the trees. Did you find anyone? How's the search so far? Did you find anyone? Not yet. But my faith is as strong as the stench in this devil's nest. I just need to perform a ritual to cleanse this place. But every time I start one, I keep getting attacked by ungodly creatures. If you could keep them away from me while I do the cleanse, you would be doing God's work. Vodnik says otherwise. The Vodnik Elder told me all about you. You are disturbing the creatures here. Maybe if you come back with some silver chains and some candles, take these kopecks and go and buy them. Well, you speak wise words. Thank you for your contribution to the faith. I will use this money to buy some silver and some new candles. What brings you around these swamps, blacksmith? I'm looking for the water of youth. Oh, not this again. You'll get lost, just like the others. That madman priest will blame your loss on this swamp as well. I will not have that. Again? Have others come before me? Oh, and how many? Old men and women, scared by what they see in mirrors and the crackling of their bones. They come to my swamps in search of youth. And no matter what I do or say, they won't go home. What happens to people coming here? What do you think? They get lost and then drown, or starve to death, or get eaten. Others lose their minds like that priest. What priest? That madman that keeps trying to clean my swamp with his rituals. So the water of youth is here. Oh, you don't understand. The water of youth is not for humans to possess. It's meant to remain here in the swamp. Well, there's the problem. You have the water. So if you give me the water, then they won't have a reason to come here. <laughs> you sure ain't like the others. They weren't nearly as amusing as you. There might be something to your offer, though. How about this? I give you a spoiled version of the water. It's not as potent as the original, but it's powerful enough to fool any human. I'm listening. If, and only if, you get rid of that madman of a priest disturbing my swamp. I won't stand here and be insulted by that offer. You leave me no choice. If it's a fight you want, you'll get one, but you'll regret it. Grab battle. Wreck the natives. Hopefully it doesn't end the area once I'm done. I am the fool no matter what. It certainly takes away the thinking aspect, which is kind of appreciated. Because now I can just, like, blast my way through everything and just be like, eh. But yeah, probably should have thought about that in a different manner. But oh well. Fighting dudes. I think we have another section of this, because I don't have the Water of Youth. Why we already made the priest leave. But like I said, I always play the fool. Plus, I think we get another option on that one. He's offering spoil and Baba Yaga wants the pure. Probably. Also true. Oh man, if we ended up with a young Baba Yaga that we had to marry, that'd be like, ideal. Yv Yvonne the Extremely Stupid. And his hot Baba Yaga wife. I could not think of a better future for this man. If you appease her super hard, she might even just like dump them all on him at the end. I don't know. We. 
would make Yvonne's mama happy. Oh yeah. I mean, especially because the mama keeps trying to matchmake us with Baba Yaga to some small degree. Pick it up. Red flower. Since when in fairy tales is Baba Yaga hot? I don't know, but I'm not ruling it out as a potential end result. I don't know if Baba Yaga wants them for herself. It seems like she's more trying to keep it out of the Tsar's hands, especially because she was the one that cursed the Tsar in the first place. Dearest blacksmith, a moment of your time. I can run, but I cannot walk. I have a mouth, but I cannot talk. I have a head, but I cannot think. I have a bed, but I cannot sleep. What am I? Normally a river, but uh, I guess river. A river? Indeed. Bless your mind, young blacksmith. But I believe you should be on your way. Until next time, blacksmith. Oh, shit. Well, bad luck is here. Time to switch over to Trash Hammer. A Trash Hammer. Uh, I guess this one. Alternatively, let's go up here. Let's go make a... Let's go make a Trash Hammer. Talk to her first. Yes? Give her the red flower. A flower most red is what I have for you. Red is for passion. Yes. And blood. What? Time to trade my tears for your blood! Okay. Equip the good hammer for this. Well, bad bride. Why is it always just hags in the swamp? Ow. Okay, keep an eye on my bad luck. Okay. I gotta be careful. Once that ghost shows up, we gotta switch weapons. Okay, there we go. Mercy, Ow. blacksmith! My hate for deceit has left me blind! Spare me, and I will aid you! This I promise you! Hug. All I wanted was a hug. You can go now. Thank you. Take this, and use it when all odds are against you. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Tooth Hammer, I guess. We got a wedding veil. I'm gonna go make a quick trash hammer if I can. Before she shows up. Wholesome. Of course. We play, st we play stupid Yvonne for better or worse. Mostly better, sometimes worse. Uh, let's see. Craft hammer. Let's see, what do I have a whole bunch of? Gold? Uh, let's use copper. Actually, not copper. Let's use silver. Let's see. This game doesn't seem mind-numbingly difficult. Nope, it's actually... I'm not going to say it's fairly easy. Uh, whoops. I need this back. Uh, it's not that easy, but it's not that hard either. I find it to be a fairly good balance, and it's kind of one of those where... Every time you lose... Well done, Ivan. You have found the water. Is this the real thing you came after? The water is here just for you to take. But wouldn't you rather give the Tsar a fake? I know the Tsar wants it, but I will ask you, Ivan. Will you take something that belongs to no one? It's not right. Who am I to remove the water from here and give it to the Tsar, who rules by fear? The right thing to do. That's what I expected. Take this fake to the Tsar. You won't be rejected. 
A frog shopman's probably sitting by being upset. Muddy water. Ugh, let's see. I must not spill this thing on me. Farewell now, Ivan. I'll take to the skies. There's a beautiful maiden I need to advise. You will see me later. I'm sure of that. I'll find you, my dear, when we need to chat. 